All right, we're going to tackle making a table, and uh, this is something that's going to be very valuable as we move forward, but let's just move forward with our step-by-step. -step. The assignment is to create first a basic table, basically a phone number chart, and so we're going to start off with doing your um, start and end tag. So put in your table, start table tag, right, and then Go in there and create yourself some space and put in your end table, just like everything, forward slash end table. All right, then what we want to do is we want to create our first row, okay? And so we can even spice up a little bit. I've grown a bigger fan of spacing and indenting uh, as I've gotten more complicated coding. So let's do a, give ourselves a little space and then do a TR, remember, that's our first row. And then we're going to do an NTR, all right? So that creates our first row. Then what we want to do is there are two types of rows. There's header rows and data rows. So we're going to do a header row, or actually there are columns within rows. So there's a header uh, column, and that's signified by TH, and that's the sort of title of the uh, header or title of the column. So in this situation, we would do like first name, okay? And then we're probably going to have, we're also going to have their phone number, so we're going to do another one of those, right? And we'll do phone number. And what we can see here is that that's going to give us, all right, um, and so what we want to do is also, just to make things a little bit easier, let's do border equals one, and that's going to help us see that it's a real table a little bit easier, all right? So now let's, then we've made our first row with our header column. Now what we want to do is we want to make a data row, all right? So let's do TR, we're just going to copy our row, and we can even, we won't copy it to three times because we're going to make a change here. Rather than that being a header row, we're going to do TD and TD TD and TD. And what this is is the data column. Okay, so this was the header column. This is a data column. So here's where we put our people, right? I'm going to say Jimmy equals 555-1212. All right. And if I click Save Work and Show Web Page, I see that. And then if I do that again, I can just copy that again and just, we'll just change the names. Okay, we'll call that Bobby and Mary. So at this point, what we've done is we've created a column with four or a table rather with four rows. One that's a header row, and then one that's the uh, then three that are data rows. All right, and what you need to do is you need to make sure that you have as many columns in each row. You want to have the same number of columns in each row. All right. So that's the first part. We have our creating our basic table, and we have our showing the names and phone numbers, but we need to also make sure that we want to have a width of 420. So remember, we go to our table. We're going to give it the attribute of 420. So width equals 420, okay? And click Save and Show Web Page. And so that makes it a little bit bigger. Rather than only having enough width in each column, uh, to just as big as it's needed to show Jimmy's name, we create one that has a defined uh, a defined width, 420 pixels. All right. So now, what do we want to do? The next item on the assignment is to create the header row one color and the other rows a different color. So we want to create the header row. Uh, I think we want to make the header row be a color, a B, do you remember, BG color, okay? And then we just put whatever color we want in here. Let's do yellow. And then for these other rows, we're going to do a different color, BG color equals gray. And you can choose whatever you want here, all right? But this is where you're creating an attribute. You created an attribute for this row, and then you create an attribute for this row and an attribute for this row. And you can do different colors if you want. You just want to make sure that they have a different color than the header. All right, we'll save work and show web page. All of this, remember, is within our 
uh, table tag. So you get your start tag end tag for the table, then you have your start tag end tag for the row, start tag end tag for each of the columns. And remember, you need to have two columns. If you have two columns as your headers, you want to have two columns for your uh, rows below it. All right, so that's item number two on your assignment. And then item number three is where you are creating a table that enables you to space out an image and a video uh, on your page in different places. So what do we mean by that? We're going to do a table and we'll do a border here just so we can see this, okay? Border one. And we're going to create a, two rows. In one of the rows we're going to have our image and in the other row we're going to have our video. All right, so we're going to have the, that means that we're going to basically, I'm going to create this to see, show you how this would look. So, all right, so we're going to have our uh, image over here in the top right. Remember, so this means top right, right? I mean, I could actually make it look a little bit like that. Okay, so make it look a little clearer because I have one row here and one row here so I'm putting, you can see this is the first column TD and then that's the second column and so what we're going to do is I'm going to put my video here and I'm going to put my image here. All right. So um, you can create what you can get whatever image you want. Grab it and then remember remember how to do images. Image source. This is kind of bringing together multiple things, right? Image source and then here you're going to put your iframe source and then you're going to do your height and your width. Here and then that one requires an iframe. Okay, and if I do that, I can actually, um, I'll probably get an error, but I can go 100 by 100, and then here I could do height equals 100, and I'll probably just get an error uh, because it won't be giving it any source, but you'll see that it will show up the way I want it to, like this. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to put your image here and your video here, and you can make it as big. Uh, as small as you want. So I'm going to go do that right now. I'm going to pull an image, uh, my crest image that we've seen used before. I'm going to put that um, right here. And I'm going to pull a video image or a video uh, frame from YouTube. I'm just going to grab it. I have it saved here to the side. And I'm going to pull that right there. And then you can see that I now have my um, image on one side of the screen and my uh, video on the other side of the screen. And I can make that as big as I want. I didn't do any attributes. So I can say width equals 600. And you can see I, this is one way of positioning things on the screen where you want them to by using a table. We're going to use a more sophisticated technique with CSS with cascading style sheets. But this is one way to do it. All right. So move forward and make your um, make your project uh, to complete these three assignment 